Get it on. What's up, you glorious, glorious Shadvillians? Thank you for tuning in to yet another video. News is coming in fast and hot with regards to Peg Axie. I just want to be here to give it to you. Albeit a little late, yes, it's not uh, instant, but I just want to put something out and see what you think. So last night, uh, a couple days ago, let's start off. A couple days ago, there was the release of the fusing um, after the breeding event. There was a fusing and the change to the reward system whether uh, or for the different, uh, different levels of the Pegas. So from the Pacers to the Legendary. There was a huge uproar, and apparently there must have been a mass exodus and, you know, a lack of players uh, after that release because today they implemented a scaled-back version of what they uh, initially released for their update. So let's take a look at what they've ended up changing here. So... Again, another release from Corey. We feel it's important to note that, to note and, it, feel that it is important to note and that we did not clarify enough in the previous update. These figures are all subject, subject to change. Consider them dynamic figures. Uh, we do not intend to change them every day or every week. However, it is in our best interest to keep our finger on the pulse and ensure that we continue to monitor how sustainable all the variables are. Not sure what that uh, what the variables are, but anyway, the fact that he wants it to be sustainable is again that is the goal. We can't have hyperinflation because then the the economy dies, and eventually the game will die. Uh, so and it, he's pushing Themis again, which is fine. Uh, where we're gonna need PGX to uh, to be able to uh, participate in Themis. I don't know if there's gonna be a, a minimum that we're gonna to need to hold in order to join Themis and be part of that, we'll have to wait and see. The update that is rolled out, and I assume tweaks are being rolled out because I don't think it's you know up to snuff quite yet, at least when I checked earlier this morning, it was not running perfectly, but uh, they changed the race rewards, fusion price, fantastic, uh, changed resulting breed count, also interesting and the pgx refund will happen uh on monday for those that already did a fuse before this change i unfortunately was not one of them so let's take a look at what is and what was so as we can see the two rares was 12 grand and 60 pgx and now it's h and 30 like it that is going to push more people to uh burn Better pegas, I would think. So, in my view, it was that I was going to burn pegas that were sub, you know, that rounded up 15% uh, pega. So, kind of 14 and below, I was going to burn. This might actually result in me burning maybe 15 to 18% pegas, you know, like so that. They're making it a wider range of pegas to be burned. They're allowing, they're making room for that. Rares from 20 to 16,030, and the legendaries remain. This is interesting, and I, I can understand why they did this based on the next um, shot or the new prize pool. We'll get to that after. And this is also interesting because they said no matter what, what your breed count is of your fused pegas, it's going to be four out of seven, five out of seven, and six out of seven uh, for those respective uh, rarity. Uh, so, a uh, bloodline, whatever you know what I'm trying to say. Whether it's going to be rare, epic, or legendary. So, this just means that your next level, you can breed beyond what that next level is going to be so a lot of people and me included i didn't think that i was going to breed my rare my pacers beyond four i'm definitely i have a couple that uh, i will breed beyond three though and and potentially fuse so 
the more it, it incentivizes you to breed and then fuse, I think. So this is kind of cool. I like what they've done here. Here's where it kind of rubs me the wrong way, yet I sort of understand it. So it's nice that they, that they did increase this. They almost doubled it. Uh, regardless of what the number is, it doesn't matter. Uh, but they have increased it. This is nice. I just wish that they had gone a little further here and then dip down a little more in the later and the higher uh, tiers. So I wish my wish would have been 100, 200, four and a quarter, and a thousand. Um, the only reason I say that, you're going to say, well, it's because you don't have any legendary, blah, blah, blah. I don't have any legendary. That's fair. I'm just thinking that once legendary and founding, although nah, there's not going to be any more founding pegas, the legendary uh, breed count and population, once that grows to whatever number that may be, 1,500 may not be sustainable. Whereas at 1,000, you know, doubling what you originally set would have appeased everybody as opposed to now going to 1500 and then having to scale that back later um i think they shot for the stars on this one for the legendary where they could have balanced it out even more and then if they noticed that oh, okay we can increase legendary later that just would have made people much happier later on as opposed to going way up here and then having to scale back to here just my thoughts uh on that but again overall happy that they did the tweak happy that they jumped on it early i'm guessing the data was showing that people were not racing and maybe a couple of the bigger guilds were upset so that's it for this video i i know i, I seem to ramble on i want to keep these quick and i just can't manage to do that uh so i apologize but you know it is cool i love that they've uh owned up to that mistake they've turned around and adjusted quickly and i do hope that again the key point here is sustainability and i hope that this will be sustainable um with 1500 over 1500 uh biz being minted for legendary races but anyhow before I go, I did want to let you know that I am trying to drum up some excitement and some interest in a scholarship that I'm trying to run for Pegaxi. Uh, my stable is small, but uh, trying to grow it as much as I can and you know help out as many people as I can in the future. Uh, so yeah, check out the Discord server uh, linked in the description below. Uh, I do post and, and I'm in there active as much as I can be. And, uh, you know, it's a small community right now, so get in on the ground floor, and let's have some fun. And let's have some fun. You can follow me on Twitter, at ShackGamer80, on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ShackGamer80. Again, in that Discord channel, linked down below, and on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, if you liked my content, Please be kind and angrily smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'm looking to hit uh, 100. That's the next goal, 100 uh, subscribers. So let's see if we can get to that mark and, you know, maybe another celebration video for the 100 subscribers. So that's it for me. Until the next one, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>